let me take a quick moment to introduce to our participants and eminent dignitaries. Professor Chetan More uh, is a well-known motivational speaker and writer. He is a writer of one of the best-selling book, Interview Skills and Techniques, which is particularly useful for rural upcomers. His motivational talks and books aim at solving practical issues, which has cropped up due to rapid urbanization. He's currently working with D.Y. Patil University at Talegaon in Pune, India. He has trained many young students to make a transition to become entrepreneurs. Very nice, excellent job. Welcome, Dr. Professor Chetan Mure. Please continue with your keynotes. Thank you, sir. Very well. Uh, very good morning to you all. I say good morning in spite of the fact that we are coming very close to 12 o'clock. But in winters, usually the <laughs> afternoons are also cool and afternoons are also uh, good. So I say good morning to everyone. Uh, I had been given opportunity uh, by the SKN Sihagar, uh, Pandarpur and uh, the Global Research Organization, Dr. Prakash Manoj Jain, sir. Uh, the team is doing a fantastic job and, and uh, they usually invite me in the morning sessions um, uh, to uh, guide uh, or to discuss or to put my work in front of you all. Because I am of the opinion that uh, if certain things, if an apple is kept in front of you and if you are not going to have it for 10, 15 days, it's going to turn into a garbage. Similarly, if we are going to absorb, absorb, absorb a lot of knowledge and if we are not going to share it with the rest of the people, then it's going to become a mental garbage. So to avoid mental garbage, this is a very good platform. Uh, we need to share the information with each other. Uh, sharing information, connecting with people, that is what is life. Today, we are going through a very tough situation of pandemic. Uh, the coronavirus is coming uh, through different formats, uh, in different forms. Sir, start your video, sir. Okay. And it is, uh, and it is harming us uh, in many different ways. <clears throat> so today, to start with, uh, I'll be sharing with you uh, some beautiful thing, uh, which uh, nature has taught us how to... Uh, tackle the coronavirus and I will be just sharing the screen and then we'll start. So to start the day, the sun is a daily reminder that uh, we too can rise again from the darkness, uh, that we too can shine our own light. So we learn a lot of things from the sun and uh, mostly I think most of the educators, they have joined this session. And you all see a lot of uh, students, you all hear a lot of students. Classroom is also like a solar system. You see a lot of sun, moon, Mercury, uh, Jupiter, and rest of the planet. But I would like to tell you one uh, difference between sun and moon. You see many people, those who try to remind that they are very powerful. So they come into the category of sun. But remember, uh, my dear friends, sun is uh, strong, but it is not loved. Moon is always loved. And reason behind that is... Moon proves himself uh, during night time and gives the opportunity to rest of the stars also to prove themselves. And that is what is one of the peculiarity of the moon. And that is why moon is loved more than sun. Sun has its own presence, but in the sky in the afternoon, when you uh, peep up, you do not see anyone. Sun never gives the opportunity to uh, rest of the people, while moon gives the opportunity to rest of the uh, people as well. And that is what is the difference between sun and moon. So most of the times, uh, uh, people, those who are doing research, they are listening to me. Most of the times, what happens, why the research is mostly neglected. Uh, and the reason behind that is we accept whatever the search is. We accept that whatever the search has been done, that is the fact. And that is the reason why we neglect most of the times the research. I give you a very simple example whenever I get the opportunity to uh, speak with the research people. I have a very simple example to share what is search and what is research. In a class of first standard, when a question was asked, where do sun rise? 99% of students, they told that sun rises in East. But one little girl, he, she stood up and she told that, uh, according to me, sun do not rise. It is stable, but it appears to rise in East because of the movement of uh, Earth. So this is what is the research. The search was sun rises in uh, East. And a little bit of research gave us a very practical answer. So most of the time, whatever the search has been done, we accept it, we digest it, and we accept that that is the fact. 
unfortunately that is not the fact we have to think on the searches also okay and uh, you all people are very talented one you all are doing research activities and nowadays people have understood the importance of research a very important question was asked by a reporter to one researcher ki bhai the pandemic vaccine is not coming uh, earlier that time the researcher gave a very good answer that you consider the movies hero as your real hero you consider a lot of cricketers as your role model and hero you never consider a researcher kon ke log hai you never consider is my voice audible yes sir it is audible please continue okay. so you never consider a researcher as your role model and that is why the delay is in second place so we have Hello. to consider this research people as our role model as a value there and then and then only uh, the research will take place and we will come out of these situations so whenever there is a solution demanded from the society the researchers they stood up and they find the solution so i have a very beautiful example of a sunflower to share as we all are indians and you all know that indians they love stories indians they love numbers so these two are very uh, very common in all of us so i have a very little story on this occasion uh, on this uh, pandemic to share with you about the sunflower so sunflowers as you all know that they turn according to the position of the sun in other words they chase the light you might already know this uh, but there is another fact that you probably don't know and what is that fact uh, have you ever wondered what happens on cloudy or rainy days when the sun is completely covered by clouds this is a very interesting question you all know that sun will be facing towards uh, the uh, sunflower will be facing towards the sun during day time but what will happen when the clouds will cover the sun so this is a very interesting question isn't it perhaps you think that uh, sun will turn its head towards ground uh, this might have crossed your mind but that's not true uh, <coughs> nature's the sun sunflower they will turn towards each other to share their energy so this is what happens when the sun is covered by clouds when the season uh, rainy season is there the sunflowers they turn towards each other and share their energy so nature's perfection is amazing uh, now let's apply this reflection to our lives many people may become low spirited and most vulnerable ones sometimes they become depressed how about following the example of beautiful flower uh, that is sunflower that is supporting and empowering each other nature has so much to teach us so wishing every for everyone a sunflower trait of turning towards each other on this cloudy and gloomy days especially during these days uh, of uh, corona pandemic so this is a beautiful example which uh, the nature has set for all of us and the conferences like this they are uh, one of the medium for all of us to get connected and to share our ideas to share our research to share our thought process uh, it's like uh, the Uh, example of sunflower so it's none other than but it's the nature who is teaching us and uh, we are fortunate enough that we are trying to follow it uh, by connecting uh, with each other through these conferences so it's a beautiful example of nature uh, we have to fight together we have to uh, be united and we need to cope up with this uh, particular difficult time by supporting each other that is what uh, the nature teaches us and we need to follow the nature so we are into 2021 and uh, how do you make 2022 the best career year so i have some simple things to share with you so you have to do easy five things number one you need to understand yourself number two you need to set your career goals number three you need to invest in uh, building skills number four you need to learn from your coworkers and number five have a growth mindset so we will be discussing these uh, um, uh, these points one by one but before that i have a very uh, good story to be shared with you about introspection i think most of the people those who are listening to me this is a repeated one but i think the audience is new so i'll be sharing a story of a little girl who went to a shopkeeper shop and in those days uh, there were uh, telephones uh, which were set 
uh, in front of the shop and uh, most of we have practices we used to drop a one rupee coin and then give a call to the one whom we would like to uh, call similarly uh, a little girl uh, called a lady uh, old lady and sir my voice is fine sir mute kar nahi do sir implant sir implant sir implant sir sir mute kar nahi हेलो ब्लॉक इट यू कंटिन्यू प्लीज आवाज येतो का हां तुमचा येतो सर ट्रेनिंग केले का तू ट्रेनिंग इंडस्ट्री ट्रेनिंग केले का मी कुलकर्णी सर बोलतो सी अगर पाले मधो सर स्वरूप कुलकर्णी सर कॅन यू प्लीज म्यूट योर सर हां बगल आहे ना काय सर Yes, yes, Chetan Morey sir, you can start. Okay, okay, sir. I think everything is fine now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no disturbance. Thank you, thank you. So I'll just repeat it. Uh, we are into 2022, and uh, how we can make this uh, year uh, good or best for your career? And we need to follow these five simple steps. Number one, we need to understand ourselves. Remember, this is very difficult task. Most of the people they just keep on guiding you that you understand yourself well, and then sky is the limit for uh, you. So it is very difficult to understand because we get all the information on Google about rest of the world, but we don't get information about ourselves how we are on Google. So this is very difficult to understand. I'll give you some techniques, and I'll uh, be telling you how uh, certain techniques will help you to understand yourself. then you need to set a career goal most of the times the most irritating question when we were in schools where whether you love mummy or your papa and the second question was what is your aim okay so these are very difficult questions but we had faced it at a very early stage of our education then the third important point you need to in, invest in uh, building skills uh, most of the times people don't understand what exactly is the meaning of skill they uh, just mix up learning is a skill so learning is not a skill uh, practicing is a skill if you practice certain uh, activity for number of times then it uh, turns into skill the fourth one is learning from your coworkers we always keep on discussing with coworkers we always stay with coworkers but we forget to learn from our coworkers rather we keep on competing with coworkers so in 2022 we need to also learn from uh, the coworkers and number 5 is we need to have a growth mindset so most of the times new technology updated knowledge we are very much reluctant to have this updated knowledge because you know it took thousands of years for a human being to turn uh, from hunter to a farmer then it took another thousands of year to turn from farmer to a civilized society but we are in 21st century now after every five year the technology is changing so we need to adapt that technology and we need to set a very uh, uh, we need to set a growth mindset uh, with us and then and then only we will be able to uh, match the the demanding world okay so uh, i have a very beautiful story to share with you uh, regarding introspection how you should introspect yourself uh, it's the story of a little girl who went to a shop and uh, she dropped a 1 rupee coin and called a old lady and she asked that uh, i am in search of a job i will be doing all the household chores uh, which you uh, want me to do so please give me a job so the lady replied politely to that girl that Uh, i already have a one uh, girl who is working and i'm quite satisfied with her work the next day again the same girl came to the same shop again dropped the one rupee coin and again called the same lady and asked that uh, i learned from yesterday's discussion that uh, you already have a girl who is working for you but uh, i will be drawing the half of the salary which you are paying to that girl and uh, kindly give me the job the lady again replied ki i am okay with that girl please don't give me a call now third day the sun rise and again the same girl came to the same shop again dropped a one rupee coin and asked the lady that i will be doing extra work in half of the salary please offer me a job at that point of time the lady now was irritated and she told that i have told you once that i am not in a need of a girl i already have one please do not give me a call again observing all this scenario the shopkeeper called that girl and asked that girl that if the lady is not interested to give you a job 
Why are you repeatedly giving her a call? At that point of time, the girl replied that, Sir, I am the only one who is working in her house. I am just checking my performance. So this is what how you need to check your performance. You need to know what your boss, what your authorities they think about you. You need to have a clear understanding that what image your friends are having you about you. Even you must know that what your competitors or you can call your enemies, what they think about you, this perfect idea you must have. So self-introspection is very much important in today's age. Okay, so moving down about understanding yourself. Understanding yourself means understanding a boneless organ which is in your head and that is your brain. So we'll be talking about your brain and how are the techniques about understanding the personalities. I had some research about that, uh, which I thought that I should share with uh, this uh, talented fraternity of researchers, those who are uh, listening this uh, particular seminar. So remember, my dear friends, there are four kinds of people present in uh, the world. And the four kinds of people means there are four personalities you usually call this as disk profile. Some people, those who are in the management field, they must be aware about this uh, disk profile. So disk profile plays a very important role. There are four kinds of people. Number one, dominant people. So these dominant people, they are very direct, they are very blunt, uh, they are born leaders. Usually they enjoy the role when they are in authority. So when they are positioned at uh, authority place, they enjoy the role. But it's very difficult for uh, their bosses to make them follow. They are not good followers. So this is what is the drawback of this dominant personality. But uh, the positive part uh, of the picture is when they come in authority, they get the work done immediately. And they, whenever they plan, they plan it properly. And they make sure that the plan is uh, been executed properly. Uh, why I'm telling you this? Because you have to identify yourself, which personality you belong to. Because knowing yourself is very important and knowing your personality is very important. The second personality which I would like to talk about is influential. So most of the people, they are very, uh, uh, they put good impression whenever they are there. They make it sure that uh, my impression should be lasted uh, for a longer time. Uh, these people, they love compliments. And uh, the drawback of this personality is these people are not uh, disciplined. Okay, they are very interesting people, but only they are not disciplined and they don't follow the traditional way because if they follow the traditional way, if they follow the track, they will not be noticed. They have a phobia that they should be significantly noticed. So they will be doing something extraordinary to get them noticed. And these people, they love come. Thing. you can just check it out which personality you belong to number three is steady they are very royal and loyal people they are very sensitive they are very emotional people uh, but they are very slow to take decisions most of the managers or most of the uh, employers what they do they hire steady people because steady people stay with the organization for longer period <clears throat> okay they are very reluctant to change and so they they can invest on them and uh, they can do well uh, because they stay in the organization for longer time the fourth category which we are talking about is compliant people. So compliant people are very investigative people and uh, they are very good in making decisions, but their decisions are delayed. Okay, they are uh, perfectionist. Uh, so they are like an owl. They think uh, 360 degree. Fine. So these are the four personalities. You can check which personality you belong to so that it becomes very difficult. It becomes very easy for you to introspect who I am and what qualities I have. Because it is very much important if you want to conquer the world, it is very much important first to know you, yourself, and to know the qualities which you have. Then and then only, if you have an internal peace, then and then only you can deal with the outer uh, complications or outer problems. So knowing the personality, knowing how you are going to behave, knowing the personality of your colleagues, keeping the environment healthy because if you are going to keep the environment healthy then and then only you can focus on the innovations you can focus on the research uh, dominant people uh, they usually are uh, people those who are always uh, they fall in conflict and uh, it may sound good to the dominant people those who are listening to me that conflict is the generator of creativity when you are in conflict with someone at that time you are working very hard and uh, your creativity, your innovation, it comes to fore. 
so if you have a conflict with a particular topic if you want uh, if you have a conflict to find out a particular solution to a particular problem at that time all your creative energy will come to the fore and you will be one of the creative person and indians are the people those who uh, are conflict oriented people and that's the reason why uh, we have most of the scientists coming up and they are helping the world uh, in uh, developing okay so you need to understand your personality you need to understand uh, the personality of your colleagues you need to understand the personality of uh, the people those who are staying at your house uh, your uh, children your wife uh, your husband and you have to understanding the personality understanding the behavior uh, will make you to keep your uh, <clears throat> keep your uh, healthy relations with each other and that will make you competent enough to deal uh, the problems and the issues of the outer world so knowing each other connecting with the people is very much important and for that first you should know yourself and that is what uh, i am uh, uh, focusing in my today's lecture okay so uh, there has been a lot of research done by uh, william mountain uh, morstan on uh, he was a psychologist and he did a research usually people they have two personalities one is primary personality and another is secondary personality so we'll be talking about the personalities dominant personality people they are very independent you can just check it out with your own behavior if you are independent if you are target centric if you are visionary if you are inflexible if you are bold aggressive self starter determined if you are born leader if you are in charge if you are ambitious then you belong to dominant personality uh primary personality 70% it is affecting your personality and secondary personality comes when you are in crisis it comes to the fore when you are in crisis so we'll focus on the primary personality itself so you can check it out if you are dominant you will be having the qualities which i have already uh, told to you if you are influential then you have unlimited potential with you you are flexible uh, then you are very talkative you you need to you need support uh, to perform uh these people they need guidance they are party lovers they love to be noticed that's what i was focusing about and they love compliments a lot they have a showy behavior so you can just check it out you and your colleagues so who belongs to this uh, category called as uh, influential personality the third category is compliant one compliant people they are calculated risk takers they focus on details they are very investigative you need to avoid uh, going for shopping with these compliant people they repeatedly uh, ask lot of questions and uh, they focus on uh, doing the doing job right rather than doing right job okay and these people are very much confused because a lot of thought processes are going on uh, in uh, their mind so these people are very good in doing compliances these people as they are very investigative they are very good in quality control department so if you have or if you notice any person you can just take uh, his uh opinion on particular decision his uh, opinions will be perfect okay then we talk about steady person lot of maharashtrian people uh, belong to this category they are steady people easy going relationship oriented they have a high learning ability they are very stretchable flexible uh, they usually avoid conflicts and they have a compatibility with all the personalities so dominant person and compliant person i'm sorry my screen is not been shared okay sorry so dominant person and compliant people they will have a less compatibility so if they come together there are chances that they won't enjoy each other's uh, company so there is also compatibility uh, thing uh, uh, you can just uh, surf on the google and uh, i'm just giving you the direction because the time given to me is 30 minutes and i have to wind up uh, the discussion but i have just sharing you uh, the types of personalities so that you can know yourself and you can know rest of the people uh, that's what was our point number 1 to know each other okay so we were also talking about goal setting how we should set the goal most of the times it's very easy to tell people that uh, you should have a aim you should have goals you should set goals it's very easy to tell but it's very difficult to set a goal it's very difficult to set a aim 85% of indian state don't have aim they don't have goals and they are doing job which they are not supposed to do and that is what is the 
one of the big reason that we are still a developing country we are not developed country yet and why i am telling you this because proper person are not working at proper place because they don't have any goal they don't have any aim with them and that is the reason why uh, we are not uh, we, that is the reason why we are not able to give the justice to the role or justice to the job or justice to the career which we are into and on the 1st of january every time we say that this time i am going to leave the job i am going to leave the career and next year also you come on the same point so this is what is the situation of most of us uh, uh, as uh, we are in a developing country and in developed country they have a very fixed uh, uh, sop that after doing graduation i'll be moving in this field and after 10 years i'll be here after 12 years i'll be here they have a very uh, good uh, goal setting practice going on and that's the reason why these countries are developed one okay so main problem of developing country is to set a goal it's very difficult to set a goal there are n number of reasons that we cannot set a goal and there are n number of reasons that we cannot achieve whatever the goals have been set for us okay so i hope that uh, i had made i had put some light on uh, the personality and behavior uh, i had uh, so that you have started thinking about your personality you may have started thinking about uh, the people who you know that uh, which personality they belong and in later on you can just go on the google and you can search if the people are very close to you then how your behavior should be with them so that you should avoid the conflict and you can keep a very healthy uh, relationship with them because if your relationship with your colleagues whom uh, you are working with is good uh, your relationship with your rest of the family members is good so this is an extended family where you are working so if your family health is good then your physical health will be good so if your physical health is good then uh, there is a chance that your financial health will be also good so to keep rest of the health good your family health should be good and for your family health to be good and to focus on the research and innovation activities uh, you should uh, maintain a very good family health and uh, for that you need to understand each other very uh, properly and if once you understand each other properly uh, then there are the uh, probabilities of uh, getting disturbance to your family health and rest of the health uh, will be uh, negligible okay so introspection uh, i was talking about so you need to understand your brain and uh, uh, as research done by howard gardner uh, our brain is been divided into 10 categories and <clears throat> there are 10 different points of your brain okay so it's the neural distribution every human being has 1 2 0 0 crore neurons in in uh, his or her brain and where the neurons are saturated that is the area which is liked by you why i am discussing this with you because you all are research uh, students or uh, research faculties or there are many uh, high researchers uh, who has a varied experience in doing research why i am discussing with uh, you these things because you can share the most difficult thing uh, about doing research or about getting into innovation is what research i should do most of the times whatever uh, guide i am doing whatever he is suggesting i am going into that but that is absolutely wrong first you need to understand your brain properly your liking area properly 1 2 0 0 crore neurons are distributed in this 10 compartments randomly so compartment where the neurons are more that becomes your strength where the neurons are less that becomes your weakness so as they are distributed randomly uh, every human beings they have strength and they have weaknesses with them so in area where your strength is uh, that area you will be enjoying a lot and you will you could do research uh, better in that area so uh, these are the 10 compartments first one is intrapersonal aspect it's about knowing yourself it's about understanding yourself it's about planning and execution the second one is interpersonal aspect personality behavior leadership understanding others so intra means understanding ourselves inter means understanding others so if you have these two qualities if you understand yourself proper if you understand people proper research in management is uh, always on the cards for you all people so you can just introspect yourself if you have these two qualities you can do research in the management field uh, the next uh, compartment is logical analytical thinking and visualization so if you have a very good logical thinking maths is good grammar grammar is good uh, calculations are good uh, if you have a visualization sense uh, 
uh, imagination, 3D recognition, then research in civil industry. Research in civil industry is always on the cards for these people. Logic and visualization. Uh, if you have a very good fine motor skills, cross motor skills, you can do research in the sports industry. I say sports as industry also because now it has been professionalized a lot. If you have a very good language ability, if you are uh, very good in music and sound ability, you can uh, be uh, doing research in the musical field or you can do research in poetry or rest of the fields related with the language. A person who is good in logic, he always has a chance to do research in engineering field. He has a very good, a better opportunity to do uh, research in scientific field. If you are good in nature love, if you uh, love to be with uh, the pet animals, if you love trees, your research in the biological field, uh, your research in the botanical field is always on the cards. If you are good in visual appreciation, geographical research, uh, you can do it uh, uh, with a lot of enjoyment. A normal human being can do research in any field, but do you enjoy your research? It depends on the neural distribution. So you need to introspect yourself. You need to find out in these 10 qualities, which qualities I have in maximum proportion. And you need to, uh, you need to follow your uh, inner sound. Because for, if you follow your inner sound, then it becomes very easy for you uh, to do research and innovation in uh, uh, your light area. So all the research guides, all the... Uh, uh, educationalists, they can guide students accordingly. Uh, they can guide them to find out uh, the uh, research area where they are good at. And uh, if this problem is solved, then automatically the train will come on track and then they will carry. So uh, very difficult question for every researcher, what research I should do. So this is one of the way that uh, in which field you can do research, you can just find it out uh, by checking these 10 qualities and you have you are your own judge because you have stayed with you uh, as long as you have lived. So you are your best judge. So you can judge yourself properly. Okay, out of these ten qualities, which quality I do have in maximum proportion, and then I uh, then you can just find out the. Uh, it will um, uh, give you a better uh, understanding about in which field you need to do uh, research. So after this, we'll be coming to. Uh, I have some techniques also I can uh, share with you. Uh, if you find it difficult to find your personality, you can check your thumb. This has been uh, anthropology, uh, research in anthropology. Uh, this might be very new to you, but you need to check your thumb impression. Left thumb will give you the idea about your primary personality and right thumb will give you idea about your secondary personality. So right now we'll focus on the left thumb. And if you have the uh, fingerprint ridges accordingly, on your left thumb, then you belong to dominant personality. So you have all the qualities of the uh, dominant person. I repeat again, check your left thumb. So this is one of the activity for you. And if your thumbs are like this, you can see both the pictures. And if you are the fingerprints on, if your thumb, they matches, then you are most likely to be dominant person. I hope uh, most of you have checked your thumb. Uh, if you check your thumb, the upper side picture, if you get uh, this type of thumb impression on your left or right, then you are very lucky. You are influential person, very rare to find. And you can see the picture downward. Usually, most of the people in Maharashtra, they have this steady pattern. So if you have a pattern on your left thumb accordingly steady, uh, you can just check it out, the pattern. And if the pattern matches your thumb pattern, then you belong to steady category. I am sure most of the people, those who are listening to me, uh, they belong to this uh, particular category and they will have all the categories. There is a scientific research done. Uh, they will all belong to this uh, category. Uh, moving to the most complicated thing, uh, compliant. They will have this particular uh, type of uh, fingerprint on their uh, left thumb and this category will uh, come into uh, the compliant uh, category. And these people, they will be very good in taking decisions. So I'll just repeat all the things so that you can just check it out. Dominant person, they will have loops and whirl, round, round, round. Uh, they will be having these rounds. Uh, then influential person, they will be having this uh, pattern of fingerprints on their left thumb. And steady person, most of you might be having this particular pattern. 
compliant people uh, double loop will come okay so uh, just let me wind up i had some things to share with you most of the times i am just talking on the topic that most of the times whatever search has been done we accept it uh, we digest it and uh, we consider it as the fact and that is what uh, gives you uh, a very limited scope for doing research so communication and soft skill these are the words which are mostly used uh, nowadays communication skill and soft skill but what exactly is the meaning of communication skill what exactly is the meaning of soft skill there is still lot of debates going on and there is no clear understanding among lot many people about what exactly is the communication skill and soft skill i have a very simple uh, story to be uh, shared with you uh, we all have uh, uh, we all have learned about the stories of ramayana and we all have watched ramayana on television and we keep on giving examples of ramayana so i'll also share a example of ramayana when prabhu ram was uh, uh, supposed to be sworn as the king of the uh, ayodhya and uh, the night prior the episode of kaikaya you all know and then dashrath uh, told prabhu sri rama that uh, instead of uh, you uh, being sworn in as the king you need to move to the jungle for 14 years and that is what uh, uh, is my order and prabhu sri rama accepted this order so till now the story is good uh, you could understand this story now the real communication thing a real soft skill what exactly it is to communicate to the mother kausalya how ram will communicate to the mother kausalya such a difficult phase of the life this is very difficult communication and ram went to kaushalya and ram told kaushalya that uh, the ready made kingdom of ayodhya there is no scope in doing research in ayodhya so the ready made kingdom is been given to bharat and the king dashratha has asked me to go in the jungle and do research and to establish your own kingdom by doing research by knowing people by knowing the geography by knowing the history of that particular area and establish your kingdom and he has given me a deadline he has given me a deadline of 14 years so this is how prabhu sri rama communicated in the language of research uh, to uh, uh, his mother so presence of mind and uh, getting proper words uh, and taking care of emotions for me that is communication and for me that is soft skill so a um, lot of research has to be done on this particular area also okay so by just ending i have beautiful stories of ramayana to be shared ramayana is been considered as a epic uh, but you should consider it as an uh, life stories so a beautiful question always was asked to me uh, who is the best manager usually this question who is the best boss uh who is the best leader and the answer to me about manager always when a character in ramayana comes in front of me and that is sugriva sugriva was the best manager so why sugriva was the best manager because he was not having a capability uh, to fight with uh, his brother vali then what he did he did a strategic alliance with rama made rama to work for him and he got his kingdom back angada was the son of vali sugriva made gave him a offer a, a lucrative offer okay and he made him a minister in his kingdom so having ties of ties with enemies having the strategic alliance with the unknown partner and getting you a work done so these are all qualities of the manager which was displayed by sugriva so ramayana and mahabharata don't look at it as Uh, only the epic stories the search has been done but lot of research has to be done on them and this should be implemented in uh, the business activities it should be implemented in uh, day to day life so i hope uh, uh, the time given to me it was uh, half an hour and uh, fortunately i got four five minutes more so uh, with this uh, i conclude i wish all the researchers all the best and uh, i pray to god that lot of research could uh, take place uh, from uh, you and it will surely benefit the society and the human kind uh, and uh, you all will be uh, respected in uh, the uh, society thank you very much dr prakash and uh, the sihagad uh, institute for providing me the opportunity to speak uh, in front of such a uh, good fraternity thank you very much
I guess no, no James questions. Sir, any questions? Oh. And I guess no questions from anybody. There is a pin drop silence and a different aura I can feel from my side. Everybody is trying to revive in their mind who they belong to, where they belong to, are the best fit for their current job, where am I going in the future, where I was yesterday. He has tossed so many coins, so many points that everybody is just lost within himself or herself, I would say. Am I right? Dr. Professor Chetan More, very nice, thought provoking. You always uh, inspire. And I wish lots of hands should join in mission with you. You are definitely laying a strong foundation. Every time I hear and every time I listen, even I get carried away for a moment. Um, we, are all, we are almost towards ending, but this new generation, you being professor, I've been in the industry only. Every time I listen your wonderful speech, motivational speech, it definitely makes me think uh, if I can contribute in any way, my international experience, to the students here who are unable to communicate and project themselves up to the international standards. It is a very pathetic situation when I look from outside towards India, we have a bunch of talents. As you said, you know, from the rural to urban switch, you are doing a massive job. You have taken a massive, undertaken a massive assignment, Dr. Professor Chetan More. Probably you don't realize, but being abroad, and talking to our customer service reps, talking to call centers. I know myself personally, I have witnessed so many people are reluctant to offshore jobs. It's not that we are taking jobs, but they are having thousands and thousands of questions whether we can trust them, whether they are able to communicate. And you witness more than me each day, the lack of simple communication. That's what I was talking this morning about sustainability. I walk, I drive, and I see not everything is on this platform or many such platforms globally. Europeans, international uh, authorities, they are more specific, they are more trustworthy. But when it comes to the second largest, I believe the economy and the population we have in country like India, I feel very pity, I feel very helpless, I feel very lost. And I feel very sorry and extremely hurt when I see what's happening. Fortunately or unfortunately, I have been in India due to this pandemic situation and I couldn't fly. And every time I step out of my house, I, I just keep wondering endlessly. I keep turning my head around. Just this morning, I mentioned an example about sustainability, the pollution. Look at Look at how long we have been talking about global warming and all this lovely stuff on earth. And where is Delhi now? It's ranking in the world. The numbers are out the window. So who is to blame? Who needs to do what? What you talked is a very nice, I believe this could transform into reality. Your thoughts, we need to embed in young brains, in school kids or even at college level. Everybody is typical, what you call as, uh, it is no offense to people, but typical Indians. All we are carried is whether I'll be a doctor, whether I'll be an engineer, how do I get married? When do I get married? When do I buy a flat? That's all they're chasing day in, day and night. And what you highlighted, the most important issue, I call it is a big mismatch. The right person not at the right place or the, uh, not the right bride for the right groom and vice versa. We just still carry or we just going in a herd mentality. That's what my personal opinion is. And uh, I definitely wish, pray and hope that tons of hands join your hands. I am also thriving to do this whatever way possible from my side while my during my stay here to be an expert trainer, speaker, coach, trying to tap the hidden potentials between within any individual at any level, be it a student, be it a kid, be it a college student, be it an engineering graduate, to talk to them and they're speechless after a while because they know nothing, they have no plan. They don't know what their potentials are. They don't know their strengths and weaknesses. So thank you very much. Uh, I definitely got <laughs> inspired <laughs> and I felt like commenting with some time on Professor hand. Abhishek sir is online, you can start. Very good. Thank you very much, Dr. Professor. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.